Welcome back. This is Paul Bars from paulbars.com. Putting up our WordPress blog, our WordPress website, and all the bits and pieces that go with it. I'm here on the dashboard at the moment. We're going to install a new theme. And you can see that I'm currently got the default theme, which is called 2010, going there at the moment. Now, of course, 2010 was created last year. As I'm now recording this, it should be different, I guess, sometime in the future. But we want to move down here now to the appearance settings and come in to click on the themes area. There are so many different themes available within WordPress and how we can actually do this. Instructions are here, but they're really, really simple. We want to install a new theme. We click on installing new themes. OK, it doesn't get much easier than that. And there's a couple of different ways we can do it. One is we can go to Google and we can search a whole bunch of things. Or, you know, you can even just have a look around here. For example, um, I might put in one, which is, let's just do a quick search. Dog, cat. Say I want to make some kind of theme which is animal related. Let's see if anything comes up. This is completely random. All right, nothing there. Yeah, well, that's useful, isn't it? Black hat. All right. Let's see if we can find something along those lines. There we go. A couple of things for colors. I meant black hat as in colors, not, uh, you know, dick, ditchy, dicey stuff. There's a whole bunch of different themes that have now come up that I can install. I might even actually just do one of these. Here we go. This is a nice looking one just for an installation. But let's, let's have a look at the, uh, the preview and see how it's going to look on our page. All we could do is click that preview button and she'll open up. And there we go. This is what it would look like. Quite nice. Although I must admit, I'm when it comes to marketing, I always prefer black text on a white background. Definitely not something colorful like that. So let's have a quick look. Here we go. There's one that would work. Scrolling down. Okay, if you were running a theater company or something, that one would work quite well. The zebra. All right, here we go. Black Lucas. Let's have a quick look at that, see how it might look. And this is all you have to do is find a theme that you like, check out the preview, and then install it. Here we go. So we can see what this one uh, might look like. Yeah, it's you know not particularly special by any means, but it's still something different from where we are. So, uh, well, let's just throw that in just to show you how easy it is to do this. So clicking install. Yes, we want to install this one now. Off she goes, preview. We need to activate it before we can do anything with it. We need to activate it. So let's now click over here. This is our current website. Refresh this, see if it changes. There we go. Okay, so you can see how easy it is to change the theme. I mean, this is not a theme that I would be using for business, not by any means. And look, what I want to do is this. I want to make a website that's going to look the same as and use the same kind of functions and features as I currently have at paulbars.com. Scrolling over, obviously it's a little bit wider, but if I scroll over, you can see there quite easily. This is what I want to be doing. So I need to install another theme, and I'll show you in a different video the way which I'll be uploading it. Let's take a pause here. This is simply one way, but we'll move on again. Just one moment.